Hi, I'm Assistant Professor Ho Tia Hui, and let me share with you today how we nurture a new breed of civil engineers through applied learning. When you hear civil engineering, what is the first image that comes to mind? Close your eyes and take a moment. Is this the first image that you see? When I first chose civil engineering as my career path, my mother, being the stereotypical, old-fashioned, but caring mother said, Don't lah! Those construction sites are so dirty. All men, it's not suitable for you. That image of the construction site definitely struck her mind first. However, if you peel off that image and dig deep into what civil engineering has to offer, you will gain a different perspective. Here is one of Singapore's most iconic projects. I am sure most of you can identify this as Marina Barrage. This waterfront icon was conferred several awards, both international and local. It is a sustainable engineering masterpiece that provides an elegant solution to both freshwater supply and flood protection while being a lifestyle attraction. Now, imagine if you were one of the engineers involved in its design or construction, the amount of fulfillment coming from building a sustainable Singapore for all is indescribable. That is the pride of a civil engineer. Do not forget that Singapore is not insulated from the impact of climate change. The challenges of rising sea levels, higher temperatures and extreme rainfalls will require innovative engineering solutions. Being a civil engineer, you will be at the forefront of building a resilient Singapore that is sustainable and livable. In the recent COP26, Sir David Attenborough calls on world leaders to address climate change. To quote, he highlighted the fact that the people most affected by climate change are no longer some imagined future generation, but young people alive today. And that, my friend, is you. He also said, we must recapture billions and tons of carbon from the air. We must fix our sights on keeping one and a half degrees within reach. A new industrial revolution, powered by millions of sustainable innovations, is essential and is indeed already beginning. Civil engineering is precisely the industry to be in to bring about these changes. Do you want to be a part of this? I came across an article in March this year. COVID-19 pandemic has brought about a disruption in the labour market. The construction industry has been one of the hardest hit industries. But the demand for civil engineers continues to be strong with 7,500 opportunities at the end of December last year. The article also highlighted the salary ranges of different civil engineering roles. According to BCA, the median gross salary for university graduates was $3,500 in 2019. It should be noted that the salaries shown here are not the income ceiling. Project directors managing major projects such as railway lines can have a monthly salary exceeding $20,000. Yes, you have heard me correctly. Well, before you take your first step towards this meaningful career, I would like to share with you our program highlights. At SIT, we pride ourselves as the University of Applied Learning. You may ask, what exactly is applied learning? Looking at this definition of combining knowledge and skills with real-world applications is a broad definition which may be abstract to you. A picture is worth a thousand words. So let me show you what goes on in our applied learning journey. This is one of the first field trips that our students embark on in year one. This may look like any park you see in Singapore, but the students are actually in Pulau Ubin. Our students set sail to the Kampong Island at 7 a.m. They are sleepy, but excited and happy. Their mission for the day is to observe the site where a toilet is planned to be constructed and to solve the issue of how to provide the water supply to this location. Besides going out to the field, our students also did hands-on design of miniature bridges with sustainable materials. They will then load their own bridges to failure. Through this exercise, they are exposed to the perennial challenge in the construction industry. How do you balance costs with the design requirements? What you see here next is SIT's concrete laboratory. For this lab session, students calculate the concrete design. 
prepare their concrete in the mixer and perform slump tests for workability. They also cast their own cylindrical specimens and eventually subject them to compressive strength tests. This small-scale laboratory experience is then supplemented by a visit to the actual concrete batching plant through one of our signature industry laboratory sessions. At the industry level, the mixing process will be a challenge to maintain quality control given the large scale. With the on-site engineers sharing their insights and experience in tackling these issues, our students bring home knowledge that is beyond textbooks. More importantly, they get to touch and compare different types of concrete, including recycled concrete. This kickstarts students' awareness of our industry efforts towards a sustainable Singapore. After looking at our building materials, let us move on to Mother Nature, our Earth. SIT Geotechnical Laboratory is well equipped with state-of-the-art facilities. The triaxial equipment you see in these photographs are fully automated. Students work in small groups so that everyone gets to participate in the preparation to the testing processes. To compare laboratory tests against field tests, students were brought to an existing construction site where soil investigation works are ongoing. Once again, through this industry laboratory session, students gain practical experience on how real problems are solved in the industry. Even in the midst of COVID-19 pandemic, this hands-on industry exposure was not compromised but brought back to campus. As you can see here, the students still have the full experience and in fact benefited from the smaller group interactions. In addition to the early industry exposure, overseas exposure is another highlight of our programme. As Singapore borders are reopening gradually, you stand a chance of joining our overseas immersion programme at the University of Glasgow, just like our very first cohort. In 2019, our entire cohort flew to Scotland no student was left behind as this is a part of the curriculum. Being a degree program jointly offered by SIT and the University of Glasgow, our students experienced the authentic overseas education as they did their design project in Glasgow for a duration of three weeks. Professors from the James Watt School of Engineering were the instructors for this project. Week one involves the conceptual design by going down to Kelvin Grove Park to select the site to build a state-of-the-art museum. Week 2 then involves the structural design proposal. This culminates in the presentation and final report to be submitted by the end of week 3. If you come to SIT, you will be happy to know that our design project is followed by a two-week trimester break. So you are free to explore the rest of the UK and even Europe. Please remember to bring along your umbrella just like me, or suit up with a raincoat like our student here. After you return from your wonderful Euro trip, you are all refreshed to embark on our integrated work study program, IWSP for short. This is an eighth month program where you will undertake paid employment within civil engineering companies for you to develop your professional competencies. Unlike usual internships, the integration of work and study takes place with students returning to campus for workshops to supplement their professional skills. A distinct feature of our civil engineering program is to formulate your capstone project topic with your IWSP company. That is your final year project. You will be solving the real-world civil engineering problems that you observe during the IWSP. This encourages you to think critically when addressing these problems and allows you to become work-ready upon graduation. At SIT, the career opportunities are endless. The number of IWSP positions offered by civil engineering companies has exceeded our number of students. In this year's exercise, 59 companies offered IWSP placements. Available positions came from consultants such as ECAS Consultants, Sabana Jurong, CPG Consultants, contractors, such as Warhub, Kimli Construction, Keller Foundations, Southeast Asia, Shanghai Tunnel Engineering, government agencies such as LTA, HDB, PUB, and suppliers such as Sammore Corporation. Overseas placements were available as well. As you can see here, two students flew to Osaka, Japan for their IWSP. 
The lady in a black dress and a cream coloured scarf is their work supervisor who has kindly taken the first week to show them around Japan. This photograph captures one of their precious memories. Another one of our students went further to New Zealand for IWSP. She joined the company upon graduation. Learning is a lifelong process. Upon graduation, SIT alumni are given $2,000 worth of citizen learning credits to help our graduates advance in their career. All are encouraged to sit for the Fundamentals of Engineering Examination, the first examination required for registration as a professional engineer, PE, in civil engineering. Alumni can use their citizen learning credits to offset the examination fees as well as the subsidised introductory course conducted to prepare them for this examination. These photographs show our first cohort alumni taking the examination in SIT. If you can see yourself sitting there alongside our alumni and you want to be the catalyst for transformation, bring inspiration and new ideas to impart real changes to our built environment, come join SIT. For fellow women out there who see civil engineering as a meaningful career option like I do, please do not hesitate to take this first step, even if your mother says, don't la. One day, you may be the next prominent female civil engineer alongside these four notable practitioners who have shared their experiences in the planning and delivery of major infrastructure projects in Singapore. A very wise person once said to me, life is like taking the MRT train. It doesn't matter which station you boarded the train. It only matters where you alight. Regardless of your background, you are welcome to join SIT. Your ticket to your future.